Hello friends, welcome you on MongoDB video series. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install MongoDB cell. So why to why to install MongoDB cell? Well, so uh, once you install the MongoDB server that we have done in the previous video tutorial and uh, uh, MongoDB compass. So MongoDB compass gives you a kind of a, kind of a basically a GUI interface there. You can uh, do every operation by clicking right. But most of the times we are looking for the basically uh, uh, basically command there we can uh, write uh, MongoDB uh, query or MongoDB API right to create uh, basically database collection we can uh, do kind of a current operation right. So to perform those kind of operation you need a MongoDB cell. So, so let's see how we can install it. So go to the Google and try to type MongoDB mongodb cell download right and uh, very first website here mongodb.com there you have to go and if you scroll down then mongodb cell is there and even if you land to the official home page and from there also you can uh, you can go to the download link so go to the product and inside the product click on the product and product is the tool section right you have a compass and then save click on the save and click on download now and if you scroll down then mongodb sale download is there section is there right if you scroll down then mongodb sell version 162 is available right and if you scroll down then here you can see there is only zip version right so only zip you do need to download and click on the download and uh, uh, it has started downloading size of this file is around around uh, around uh, 35 mb so it won't take much time to download right it will download within few seconds right so once download is done then what i am going to do i will put this download in the particular folder of one of my drive right so download is completed so i go to here I will basically copy or even you can cut and paste into your favorite drive. So here I am going to paste uh, uh, this one in C drive and C drive I have a software and here I am going to paste it. And after uh, basically pasting this one just you need to extract it right. So let me extract all click on the extract and extraction is done then go to the mongo sh and here inside that you have a bean directory right so you need to set the path basically so copy this bean folder go to the environment variable and you must have remember how we set path how we did uh, set for a uh, path for uh, mongodb right similarly this is the last time we set path uh, for mongodb similarly you need to set path for the mongodb cell as well right and click on OK and then again OK. And here you can say MongoDB EXE. Directly you can click over here and you can start uh, basically MongoDB cell. So it is giving something like I, I'd say run anyway. So because of some uh, basically firewall. Uh, so here you can see uh, it is saying please enter MongoDB connection string. Right. So just you need to press the enter. That's it. And you connected with the MongoDB. Right and here you can see test database is saying that right so a few of the commands if you type the db and press enter it will show you currently which database you are connected with right like if you want to see all the existing uh, basically database present uh, then you can see uh, you can write a command is called so dbs right and here you can see list of uh, database uh, is showing now let let me close this if you, even if you want if, if you don't want to basically open this uh, mongo cell by clicking on the mongo exe uh, file then even you can go to the command prompt and here just you need to write mongo d and press enter right so it will open uh, so here you can see mongo d so it, mongo d is nothing but the it is a way to start the mongo db server right one thing i would like to tell you guys one thing so whenever you try to start mongo db server then uh, first time it will throw some error it will ask you to create a kind of folder in c drive 
so c drive what exactly you need to do you need to create a data folder inside that dv you have to create right this folder you have to create manually data and then inside that db you have to create manually right otherwise mongo db server will not be up and running right so that's all i wanted to show in this video tutorial guys how to install mongo db cell on windows machine so thank you so much for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial